all right in the last session we have seen creating custom parameter types using defined parameter type in cucumber js okay so let us continue from there so now we have passed the data from feature file to spec files okay to the step definitions in a different ways okay so so far we are passing only one value okay whether it is a string integer could be anything okay or we can use regular expressions apart from that sometimes we have to pass the data uh, like rows and column wise okay let's take an example okay, i'm going to comment it out here i will say given the below user details okay given the below user details okay so here uh, let's say first name okay and last name age age let's say country okay that should be fine okay here first name let's say john followed by wendy last name age is let's say 30 country is us this is a one record let's say i have one more one more record paul oh, hendrick should be fine age is 25 let's say uk let's take two rec three records at least so that we will understand clearly okay last one wins uh what we can say wins jack something something that should be fine here is 45 he is from australia okay that's it so now i want to i want to send this entire information as a rows of row sign columns into this particular step definition okay so now let us try running it and see what is a error we are going to see okay so definitely it will throw the errors at error that okay this is this particular step is not implemented so remember this is in the form of rows and columns okay and header should be there or not is our wish and you can only send one column two columns it's your wish completely your wish there is no restriction sometimes you may want to only one column yes and you don't want the column header that's fine but better to have a column header okay so yeah the number of rows and columns is your wish so now it is saying okay i you have not implemented this particular something called data table let's copy this okay and go to your step definition anywhere is fine so go to the end okay here let's try adding our data table okay this is called as what data table in terms of rows and column okay so now here we have to add a type right so to add the type you can say comma data table okay this is a type okay so here you can you can give this name anything data data table anything is fine okay so uh, this should be type of data table okay so now this particular table data will be holded in this particular variable okay let's try console log okay we are not going to print all the methods which are available in this particular class okay i will show you the one and then from there we will look into the debug values okay hashes that should be fine okay keep the debug point over here okay so here if you remember it is giving so many methods right okay so you can see hashes ra rows uh, rows hash and then transpose transpose these five methods we will be discussing it okay no need to run every time so we just debug it and we'll see the result in the analyze the output in the debug console that should be fine okay so go to terminal add javascript debug terminal i put that breakpoint at this particular line we are good okay so npx cucumber js test okay so now let's see what will happen over here okay so now you can see uh, the data table is initialized over here it, you can see arrays are coming that's fine okay go to your debug point uh, debug console or else you can simply right click uh, double click on your variable right click evaluate in the console okay you see here 
this is a raw table remember it is not parsed to any other object okay a not not uh, you know uh, what we can say not converted to any other data type it is a pure raw table okay remember this okay it has four arrays first array contains the header second array contains the rows first row second row third row okay but if it is an array it will be very difficult to parse right so because the header is at the first row first array and the rest of the values are in here so this may not be useful for us okay so what we can do let's explore the values i mean methods inside of it dot okay okay dot table dot let's say let's see here suggestions first one let's say hashes okay let's try the same thing here Control x and paste it over here simply simply hit enter let me delete the existing lag go here and hit enter and observe what is happening now you see this everything converted into object i hope you know about what is javascript object right key and the value key and the value so remember how many uh, records we have three records the first one is obviously the header right okay so we need this combination right first name last name this one this one and this and this and this and this and the first record with the combination of second, the first record with the combination of third one, right? The same thing it is coming. The hashes is a very, very important one because the it is in the object format. You can iterate, you can get the key, whatever you want, right? Like this, you can uh, access the specific values also, okay? What if I say uh, hashes of zero, okay? Of first name, okay? Uh, let's say, demo this one, let's say age. You see this 30 we are able to access even now if i say one you can see 25 okay last one let's say country country it should be australia right okay index is starting from zero you could see right you can iterate you can apply object dot entries object you can apply for loop also okay if you know how to handle an object in javascript you should be able to uh, handle this data efficiently this is the best way of uh, you know getting the data uh, into our code so that we can iterate or you can apply whatever you want okay this is the best way okay i hope you know it this particular javascript object if not you can go through the javascript videos in this same youtube uh, channel where you can find all the javascript videos okay so i hope the hashes method is clear okay let's see what other methods we have okay hash now second one is raw okay now let's see what this particular thing will do let me clear the existing one copy paste and hit enter okay you see the original data table and this raw is the same okay so this raw method will give you the double dimensional array okay you keep the cursor over here you can see run type it is not able to see that's okay okay what it will return is in the form of double dimensional array okay but it, this will not be helpful because the headers are in the uh, first row first array and uh, it is in second array and the values are in the third arrays so we will not we will lose that uh, object uh, key and map relationship the better way will be hashes only okay so with this way you can uh, work with the ra but i suggest go with the hashes okay let's explore more dot rows okay so let me control x and paste it over here and see what will happen you see it will not give you the header it will not give you the header at all okay the reason being is the row the raw whatever we have right it will give you the entire data but rows the name itself is indicating that means it will not going to have any headers in it if you want only the values you can go ahead with the rows method okay generally we don't only take the data sometimes who knows you may have drop down values and you have listed over here that will be the best option which is the rows option okay but it depends upon your scenario at that particular scenario which data type which uh, data type is suiting for you you need to select that particular method okay so now let us see what else method we have dot row hash okay so copy this paste it over here and this is the one i wanted to show you uncut error row hash can only be called on a data table where all the rows have exactly only two columns let's say we have only username and password 
there this method will help us a lot right there this method will help us but if you have more than two columns this method is not going to work which method row hash okay so i would request you try the row hash by providing only two columns and see what is the data type you are getting okay so i hope it is clear the difference between rows and row hash is what this will be applied on any number of columns there is only one method in the data table which is rows hash which will be applicable for only two columns not more than that okay exactly two columns has to be there okay so i would suggest you practice remove this age and country and try this method using with only first name last name or user id password your wish okay so this is what the row hash is all about now let us see what else we have transpose what we have transpose so let me clear the existing one and paste it over here go there you see this earlier we were getting the data in the form of rows but the first value is here is a key observe here first row first name is a key the rest of things are the values second row is a key header and the corresponding values you see this it's kind of uh, you know line by line or column by column we can say i hope you are able to get it right so what is mean by matrix transpose you inverse it i mean you transport it right and you reverse order same thing if you have header followed by rows or we can say column values the same thing it is transporting uh, in the cross order okay you can see the first name last name age country john wendy 30 us paul hendrick 25 uk wins jack 45 australia that means it has transposed okay so if you know about the matrix so just analyze that it's in the same fashion okay earlier arrays are having the same records as it is including the headers first row second row third row fourth row but this one in the reverse order okay for one row it will give you the details okay so this is how you can work with the data tables which are very very important and we have only five methods hashes ra rows row hash transport as i said earlier the best method i would recommend is hashes if you have only two columns go with the row hash but i would suggest row hashes is row hashes is the best one where you will get that uh, data in the object form and you can iterate using object data entries you can only get the row values using object dot values you only get the keys using object dot keys okay you can iterate over that <laughs>